What's happening guys? So, back with another vlog and I am down here in Swindon. I'm gonna check out the new JD gyms which opened I think a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I'm down here via work and I'm managing to pay a visit to this gym. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it because it's a, it's a new gym. Uh, it, it used to be a and m but they've moved across the road now because um, Outdoor Go used to be what b &M is now um, but what JD Gyms is now is what b &M used to be so obviously b &M moved to get a bigger building but um, yeah I've I seen when the when they opened the Swindon one um, I could have had a chance to come before but at the time this gym won't open it said coming soon um, but yeah this time I get to check it out it's 24 hours so I'll probably go in the morning as well probably so you'll get vlog of tonight's session and uh, it's going to be busy in there tonight and also tomorrow morning session because I'll try and get in there early in the morning as well uh, but yeah JD Jim Swindon here we come anyways oh, guys I'm outside the gym in Swindon and here it is that's the gym right there so yeah I'm looking forward to using it because it's, it's not no exercise for less residue as, as I explained used to be a B&M, B&M's across there now. So yeah, another look, that's the gym. Yeah, we must have to get added onto the system. It's uh, the upgrade of my account so I can just walk in and be done, yeah? But uh, yeah, let's get it.
session done and um, that's probably one of two because I probably am going to come tomorrow to this gym um, yeah, it's a good gym that. it's a good gym uh, I like the layout obviously with the, with the JD gyms now how, how I see how they're doing it with the theming now um, like with the lights like if you've seen in the video if you've seen in the video um, the lighting around the pull-up bars is very reminiscent of the Burnley one and the Halifax one and they're the two newer ones you know what I mean so I see what JD gyms are doing with that 
Uh, my only disappointment is I've noticed that when it comes to the new, the newer JD gyms now, what they're doing is the weightlifting area where you do clean and press deadlifts and all that. It's not a, it's not a, a padded block anymore. It's not a platform. It's just a normal flooring, and then on the mirror it says, "Please do not drop the weights." And it's like, what about people who deadlift a load of a load of weight? You know what I mean? What about people who deadlift a lot? There's people, there's people in the gym that are deadlifting like 200 kilograms, and there's people in the gym clean and pressing up to maybe about 100 kilograms, a bit more, and it's like. If, for example, if I want to do clean and press, and I want to do, the maximum of clean and press is uh, 75 kilograms, which is a 25 each side with a bar weighing 20. I don't want to have to then bring that down to then put it to the floor because I'm prone to injuring myself with such a heavy weight that I've managed to push above my head quickly. So, the Burnley one had that same thing as well, and the Halifax one has the same thing. So. It seems they've gone down the route of the, the platforms are obsolete now and it's going to be just normal flooring. You know what I mean? It's, it's not good for people that want to lift really heavy if they can't drop the weight. You know what I mean? Because that floor, you can tell that it's not made for dropping heavy weight on it, which is counterproductive for people that are doing set amount of training in that area on set exercises. That's the route that JD gyms are going, it seems. But yeah, it's, it's a good gym. Um, I'll turn around and show you, but uh, I just have to try and pan the camera. There we go. I'm using a rear selfie camera on, on this phone and I can't turn the camera like I usually do. But um, yeah, man, it's a good gym. Uh, I'll, I think I'll probably go tomorrow morning. Anyways, guys, catch you guys in a bit. Peace. Peace. guys. So it's round two of a training session at JD Gyms in Swindon. The gym's right here, as you can see. So yeah, this is part two. Uh, won't be that long of a session. I won't do as much as what I did yesterday. Um, I think all I'll do today is maybe a bit of uh, shoulder rehabilitation exercises. Don't be fooled by some of the workouts that I do. Like, there's some stuff that I can still do, it's just that there's something that's happening. So, there's no, you know, a bit of real good, just be a little bit of doing something, doing a little bit of that. And, um, yeah, I'll be doing some cardio. Um, so, I think I'll just only show you guys what I did do yesterday, really, instead of recording the same things again. But better look at the gym. There we are. Yeah, see you guys.
session done. Um, I was hoping to get a daylight uh, daylight image of this gym, but I've come in the dark and gone in the dark. <laughs> but yeah, man, quick session done. I was probably about an hour, an hour and a bit tops in there altogether in terms of like trading. Um, but yeah, now it's time for work. Um, yeah, I really like that gym. So it's a yeah, it's a good gym. So if you like me and you go to JD gyms around the country. If you're, if you're ever in the Swindon area, I mean, it's worth it, you know what I mean? It's, it is a good gym. Yeah, man. It's a good gym. Because um, I'm working in this area, well, Swindon, Bristol area. Um, actually, no, there won't be a chance of me going to the Bristol one. Because I've only been to that one once. But I was lucky to be able to park my truck when I went to that one. Um, if I ever go to that one, I was I'm going to vlog it for you guys. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy this vlog and I'll see you guys in my next vlog, which um, I do plan on doing the JD Gyms Leeds North. Because as I said, they've revamped that gym. And I've been to it since, but I never vlogged it. So I'm glad that, because um, when I did vlog it, that was when I did the, the Vegan Eats for York. I went to that gym, but I didn't know they were revamping at the time, so it looked like roadworks in there, so I couldn't really get any footage. This time, I will do so. Maybe, maybe Thursday, uh, Friday. I don't know. Maybe before the year's out, I'll do the Leeds North one. Um, and I might go ahead and do the Castleford one, because even though I've been to that one plenty of times, and I've got quite a lot of footage in there, I think I might just go in there again, and uh, vlog it, and then lump some old clips together with it as well but yeah guys 